Alrighty trainers, so if you've been paying attention to the Pokemon Go community for the past two days, you would have known that Professor Willow is trying to research three unknown figures, which turns out they are the three late guardians of Sinnoh, Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi. Right now, these three late guardians are appearing worldwide. They're region specific. In the Asia Pacific region, we're getting Yuxi. In Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, we're getting Mesprit. And in North and South America and Greenland, we are getting Aso. Now these lake guardians, as the name suggests, are appearing near lakes and they're showing up as really, 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 really rare spawns, even rarer than unknowns, in fact. If you're lucky enough to find one in the wilds, it's literally a one in a million chance, so treasure it. Treasure every single Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi you find in the wild. Some also speculate that these three might be available in raids. We don't have any official confirmation on Niantic's end, but it would be fun to see those three in raids. Personally, looking forward to raiding Mesprit or Azelf. I will briefly mention how to raid these three at the end of the video. Stay tuned for that, or stay tuned for more detailed raid guide videos is coming out whenever Niantic confirmed the late guardians in raids, but for now this is how Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi are looking like in-game. As for Azelf, you can see that Azelf has very good offensive stats, its attack is sky high, almost as high as Mewtwo, 270 base attack is pretty high. What's interesting about Azelf is that it actually has Fire Blast as a coverage move, which is pretty important because Psychic, Steel, and Dark are the three types that resist Psychic type attacks, in fact Dark types are immune to psychic types and more prominently one of the steel types that threatens Azelf is actually Sizzle. Sizzle being a bug type do super effective stabs against Azelf here so definitely Fire Blast would be a good coverage move to check Sizzle and catch it off guard. As for Mesprit though, Mesprit is looking pretty bulky here, it is pretty balanced. Both its attack and defense stats are base 212 so definitely a pretty balanced Pokemon overall. The coverage move it gets here is Blizzard, useful for checking Dragonite, useful for checking Salamence, useful for checking Rayquaza if you see Rayquaza in raids. If you don't have a Mewtwo with Ice Beam, definitely Mesprit with Blizzard can work kind of as a substitute. More details on that later. Yuxi, as you can see, gets Thunder as its coverage move. Yuxi is the more tanky one with its 270 base defense, good for dealing damage in the long run. Unfortunately, though, its attack and HP stats are not that high, not great for backing up that huge defense stat. So it's probably going to be the least useful of the three for now, unless we get a huge metagame change down the line in the future. I'm not saying Yuxi is a bad Pokemon, actually. Its stat moves are pretty powerful uh, and its coverage move in Thunder is good for picking Gyarados off guard. Gyarados with Bite Crunch and other coverage moves that might deal huge damage on Yuxi. So taking all of their stats into account we can actually compare Azelf, Misprit and Yuxi here. I calculated by hand their DPS against a level 30 model defender with 200 defense, no friendship, no weather boost, no super effective damage whatsoever, just raw neutral DPS and as you can see Azov comes up on top with its stab moves in Confusion, Extrasensory and Future Sight. And if you want a powerful psychic type attacker and can't get access to Mewtwo, definitely Azov is the one you should choose. Now Mesprit is kind of like a more balanced pick. Of course you can opt for Blizzard if you want to pick off some Salamences and some Dragonites or heck, even as an alternative Rayquaza counter, it might actually work in place of some of your other ice types when you put it on your team. In any case, you'll never know until you try one out for yourself, so definitely Mesprit is worth a shot in some way. You see, as you can see, does really, really, really low DPS. I highly suggest you go for some other Psychic or Electric types if you want to deal better DPS, but since Yuxi is the more tanky one, it would most likely to be able to deal more damage in the long run, so it would have the greatest TDO of the TDO is kind of tedious to calculate by hand, so I'm not listing the TDO ratings for the three of them. Now, just for some comparison here, I put the DPS values for Mewtwo's moves here, and as you can see, Mewtwo does function pretty similarly DPS-wise when compared to Azo. It's got pretty comparable DPS, especially with Confusion Psychic, and is a slightly better version of Azo. Of course, Azo can be your Mewtwo substitute 
if you don't have access to a Mew 2 yet. Azelf is a pretty important piece, so you might want to actually hold on to Azelf if you find a good IV one or just an Azelf with the desirable moveset. Like I've mentioned earlier, one interesting thing about these three late guardians are its vast coverage moves. And I just want to pitch these coverage moves against each other here. Te well, technically against Mewtwo's own coverage moves. Mewtwo does have similar coverage moves to the three late guardians and I just want to see how the late guardians and Mewtwo compare against each other. So for Azelf, I've pitched both Azelf and Mewtwo against a level 30 Scizor with perfect IVs and all stats and Fury Cutter X Scissor for its moves. And as you can see, Azelf does comparable DPS to Mewtwo. They're pretty similar in terms of TDO when you compare their coverage moves. Definitely, if you have access to Mewtwo, it would be slightly better than Azelf, but if you can't get access to Mewtwo at this point, like for example those new players or those unfortunate people who missed out on Mewtwo when they were available, you can opt for an Azelf. Now for Mesprit, I've decided to pitch Mesprit and Mewtwo against a Dragonite Again, level 30 and perfect IVs and all stats, this time with Dragon Tail and Outrage as its two moves. And as you can see, Mewtwo actually trumps out Esprit in terms of the DPS. If you would just want to go for raw DPS, Mewtwo would be the way to go. But Mesprit does have a redeeming factor in the fact that it has really great TDO with extra sensory and blizzard. So if you want some more bulk and tankiness behind your team, Definitely a misprint with extra sensory and blizzard would be your go-to. Last but not least, Yuxi. I uh, decided to pitch it up against a Gyarados with level 30, perfect IVs, bite, and hydro pump for its moves. And as you can see, Yuxi is not good. Not good at all. It loses to Mewtwo both in the DPS and the TDO department. So Yuxi is pretty lame in that respect. Now until Niantic gives the official confirmation, we will not be able to tell if these three late guardians are only exclusive to wild spawns or if they will be available in raids sometime in the future. But basically all these late guardians are psychic types, so you want to use ghost bug and dark types against these late guardians. You want to bring your Tyranitars with Bite and Crunch, your Gengars with Lick and Shadow Ball or Shadow Claw Shadow Ball. Hex Shadow Ball actually works fine if you don't have a Gengar with those two legacy movesets. Giratina Origin is also a new ghost type attacker added to the metagame. So if you have a Giratina Origin with Shadow Claw Shadow Ball, that would be a perfect stand-in for Gengar. Also, if you can afford it, Reval is a really useful pick, but unfortunately it is a bit of a glass cannon, so be wary when sending it in, especially on Azelf with Fire Blast. As for the bug type counters, you can choose to send in a Scissor or Pinsir with X Scissor. Unfortunately, they have the short end of the stick at the moment. They aren't very good in Pokemon Go. So I suggest you use your darker ghost types instead of the bug types as your first priority. Just send in those counters that I mentioned and you will be good to go. So that brings me to the end of my Lake Guardian comparison as well as a brief mini raid guide here. I did touch on their coverage moves as well, just so you're aware of the move, their move pools, as, as well as potentially how they can be used in PvP and gyms, as well as in battles in general. Hopefully after watching this, you're more informed of how the late guardians function in Pokemon Go, and hopefully Niantic releases these late guardians and raids soon enough so I can actually raid them, and I'm excited to get raiding and uh, yeah. It's, it's going to be a pretty good challenge for me as well, and I'm sure it'll be a good challenge for you. Uh, most trainers can agree that UXC is probably the most difficult one to handle. More details on the Cinema Lake Guardians coming soon. Once they drop in Tier 5 raids, I will be making an in-depth raid guide. So stay tuned for that. Uh, for now, this is where I'll be ending the video, and this has been Taken Adventures. I'm going to be signing off right now. Peace out.